Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. In 915, renowned farming has gotten faster than ever before. And in this video, I'll go over exactly how to get the fastest renown possible. With 915, covenant switching is a lot easier, but now you gotta catch up to that renown. And while being able to start at 40 renown with every single covenant for mains and alts is easier, you still need to grind towards 80. And there's multiple reasons to hit 80 renown on multiple covenants, especially if you want to be able to have a bunch of different transmogs shared amongst your alts. In order for them to wear Venthyr mogs as a Kyrian, you first need to hit 80 renown with the Venthyr on just one character. So far on my rogue, I've been able to boost the renown of my Necrolord covenant from 40 to 80 in just a matter of days, and I'll be doing a very similar thing for the Kyrian as well as the Night Fae. And all I'm going to do in this video is talk about some of the fastest methods that we've figured out so far. And most likely faster methods will arrive sometime in the future. But first, most of you guys watching this videos are still not subscribed. If you're enjoying these videos and are watching them anyway, you might as well hit subscribe as well as hit the bell. Especially if you want to see more guides like these for Shadowlands or whatever future expansion will probably get again announced sometime soon. And it actually might be soon as we saw some inklings of a patch 9.2 showing up partially over on the PTR. Before you do any farming, if you have one character that reached 80 renown, the vendor in Orbis and Second Floor next to the Flightmaster offers you an item for 40 renown to start with. Definitely get it before you begin the grind. To start off, the fastest method of farming right now for renown is Torghast spamming. We're just going to start off with the best method. This is the quickest that everybody is doing right now. If you want to catch up with Renown very quickly, and something that's grindable, repeatable, and has a very high chance of rewarding Renown, especially at the lower Renown levels if you're really behind, Torghast spamming is probably the fastest depending on your class and depending on your route. Currently the most efficient way of doing Torghast spam is on layer 9 Torghast runs. Technically 10, 11, and 12 all have a chance to drop Renown, but a difference between like a 12 and a 9 is so minor most players are not really seeing that much of a difference so 9 is kind of like that minimum level that gives you a fair good chance of dropping renown but also is not the most difficult layer either which makes it the fastest layer to speed run through if you don't have a character that's super geared and you're very behind on renown you can start off with layer 5s first they're going to be far easier for any undergeared characters However, at some point, it seems that layer 5s either get zero renown or a very extremely low chance at renown. Around renown 50 to 60 grind, I do get through some dry spells where I can do like 8 runs back to back in layer 5s and I'm not getting anything out of it. So this is where I would upgrade my characters to a layer 9, which does require a little bit of gear. So layer 9 is like the most optimal level that gives you the highest amount of renown or highest chance for renown for the least amount of difficulty. The strategy is simple. You're not trying to do a full clear of Torghast because you don't really want to spend time in there. You actually want to rush towards the end boss as fast as you can, the floor boss of your floor. So for any stealthy classes, this is a fantastic opportunity. For any classes that have defensives, this is where you might want to start rotating the defensives and crowd control in order to kind of skirt around mobs. You're not really trying to do a full clear. You're just trying to rush towards the door boss, slay him, and get through the next level as soon as you can. And that is your strategy for all the floors, is to get through that floor as fast as possible. Get to the door boss, slay it, next floor. Do this for two floors. Third one is a freebie with a vendor room. Fourth one is another one where you have to rush through the end, and fifth is the boss room. Even if you're behind on some of the anima power in Torghast, you don't really need it that much to slay the final boss. It shouldn't be too difficult at layer 9. In an optimized run, you can do that layer 9 in about 3 minutes. So in an hour, you're looking at about 20 or so runs of Torghast, if you can optimize them to be that fast. Because of how fast these runs are, this is the one repeatable content you can just kind of grind over and over. You can do this solo unless you want to do it with a friend, as long as they don't slow you down. The idea is to churn out as many of these runs in order to get high chances for renown. Not every single one of these runs is going to give you renown, but because of how fast they are, you can just get through a bunch of them very quickly and just spam them for renown that way. It is however a grind, and some players don't enjoy grinds even though it's an MMO, which usually have grinds of sorts. If this isn't for you, don't do it. This is the fastest way to burn yourself out. My suggestion is to pace yourself and don't do too much Torghast spam. We have other methods in this video that are guaranteed to renown that can give you a big bulk, especially if you have a bunch of alls that you want to keep up with all at the same time, that are a little bit more on the casual side. So if spamming and grinding is something that turns you off from video games, really do measure this one and try not to overdo it. The next best method for renown is world bosses. They're super 
easy. All you have to do is sign up for an LFG group or make one yourself once a week. And this is something you could do on your alts. Slay the two world bosses available, one near Corthia and the Maw. The other can spawn in any of the Shadowlands zones, Bastion, Muldraxxus, Revendreth, or Ardenweald. These world bosses are guaranteed renown if you are behind, and if you're really behind, it could be like 2, 3, sometimes even 4 renown per kill. Or once a week though, so once you slay the world boss, you can just keep getting renown from it over and over and over. So this is something I will do on my main as well as my alts if I'm just looking for a boost. The next best method is going to be story quests, which are pretty boring. Some of the things that Blizzard tried to do for patch 9.15 is to give players less reason to do the same stories for all the different covenants. There's a good chance you've seen all the different stories, as all four covenants, whether on your main or multiple different characters. In fact, you probably haven't run through them too many times. This is pretty boring and pretty grindy, but it is pretty easy and quick with good gear. If you are fine going through the story just for renown, when you are behind on renown, it can give you like two renown a chapter quest, which can be fantastic. But it also is pretty boring, so if you really don't enjoy the story stuff, really just save yourself the trouble. This isn't the fastest method to begin with. Then we have other dailies that you can do. Callings are available once a day, and you can just do three of them at a time on characters. You have the anime quest for every single covenant, which also gives you one renown. You can rescue souls in the mall, which can take a little bit of time, but it does also give you renown if you're trying to build up that covenant hallway. You have the Corthia Weekly, which also gives you one renown. All of these things are relatively good and guaranteed renown, no matter how far behind you are, but they also do take a bit of time, but also, also not super efficient. And then finally, we have every other activity in the game that's part of the endgame content. All of this has a chance to give you renown. We're talking about the basics like PvP, looking at battlegrounds or even hardcore arenas. We're looking at raiding, LFR, normal, heroic, or mythic. All of it has a chance to give you renown, as well as dungeons, whether heroics, normals, and even mythics. When you're behind any casual activity, even normal dungeons is just going to toss renown at you. But as you're getting closer to getting to 80 Renown, the higher the difficulty of the content, the higher the chance it has to reward you, but it still is a chance. Now, none of this content is amazing and grinding Renown, but it definitely should be your go-to if you're not really looking to burn yourself out grinding Renown. Seriously, if you just want to go play PvP, just jump into Battlegrounds, jump into some arenas, and as you play the game, you'll just get Renown naturally. If you just want to do some Mythic Plus dungeons or try some of the raids, just do it on your character and over time as you kill bosses and slay dungeon bosses and collect loot from your Mythic Plus box, you'll be able to get renown from there as well. If you're someone who isn't looking to burn yourself out in the first two weeks of 915, seriously, on your alts in particular, forget about renown grinding and just focus on having fun doing some of the end game content and renown will kind of come to you. This is definitely something I'm going to be doing on my alt characters. On my main rogue, I am focused on trying to get all the renown and all the different covenants finished because I'm a completionist and I want to be able to share some of the different transmogs and cosmetics amongst my alt characters. However, you really should pace yourself if you're someone who doesn't really enjoy the grinds. Renown isn't something that's supposed to be grinded out in a single weekend. It is something that's supposed to be done over time. At least that's something we've been doing for weeks and weeks in Shadowlands so far. So don't worry if you're even a little bit behind and really explore and enjoy the ability to be able to switch any covenant you want to because it is really really fun being able to try different builds and that's something that i've been enjoying more rather i've been enjoying the exploration of the different play styles rather than really focusing on getting them up and running but if you do want to be able to grind them out put your nose to the grindstone and just sweat your way all the way to 80 renown on every single covenant Torghast would be the first place to go to, but also killing world bosses is a fantastic opportunity, but I want to give you guys as many options of getting renown as I could in this video, all the up-to-date stuff for 915. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy guides like this and want to see more of them in the future. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts. And will also hit me up on Discord, link down below in every single video in description for the Discord channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see all of you in the next one.